G'day guys, um, eyebrows. Um, I'm working on the E46. I'm doing a heap of work respraying the um, the carks. The, the red was faded quite a bit and also it was molting. It had mange of the clear coat. So um, I'll put some photos up of the clear coat. Um, but yeah, I've pretty much hooked straight in without taking any video footage. So. Moment. So um, I've rubbed back all the clear coat. I've taken all the plastic trim off, except for the door handles. I've got to do that next. Um, I've got to rub back all that shine where the molding was. So it basically matches what you see there on the panels. Um, a bit of spot putty there. There's a slight little dent um, that, that I've found. So just waiting for that to dry and I'll sand that out. Car needs a, a complete sandover with some. I'll probably do some 600 with an interface pad. Um, all these have been primed, so I mean mirrors and those trims that go under the headlights, um, side skirts or rocker covers, whatever you. I don't know what you call them, sill covers. Um, they've been um, roughed up, so I've got to give them a, a prime. Um, and the bumpers, the bumpers have been given a, um, a fair bit of work. I mean, they're not perfect. Um, there's a little bit underneath there where, you know, it was quite chunky, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I just want to get the thing um, looking half decent because it will be still a daily driver. Uh, so it will get its fair share of, um, yeah, it's a road debris and stone chips and whatnot, but yeah, the whole exercise, just giving it a freshen up, make it look sort of somewhat brand new again. So, which includes, I've got to do the wheels. The wheels are going to get um, re-sprayed. Um, and I'll do some two-pack clear over the top. Um, so yeah, take the door handles off. I'll, I'll um, sand those. Um, I didn't take this trim off. Um, there's a good reason for that because I wanted to keep it. These, these things are so darn expensive, these trims. Um, but all the rubber in here just perished. But uh, I bought some trim off eBay. Uh, I'll do another video on that. Um, but yeah, it should be, hopefully, a cheap fix. Otherwise, I'll have to go to BMW and buy these trims. So I'm trying to get out of it cheap if I can. So yeah, um, removed all the trims, all the the shadow line around the sides. Um, these ones up here on the rails, they're gone. Um, the bonnet hood um, was pretty bad. Uh, the clear coat was just shot all over and that's why I used a little Milwaukee orbital. Um, <laughs> with, I think it was about like 240 grit and I just went over the whole lot. And, um, Cleaned up all the stone chips. Um, there's some there that I that I missed that I had to redo. Um, so I'll give this thing a yeah 600 uh, with an interface pad once once I've got the whole car primed and uh, I'll be good for some top coat uh, base coat rather the colour. So that's what the that's what the bonnet or hood looked like with the clear coat. It was just failing everywhere. So that's what it looked like after I sanded it all. So that's going to need primer on it as well, just so I can get, um, yeah, sort of like an even coverage with the base. Um, so I'm going to buy a U-Butte U -butte compressor, 3 horsepower, 150 litre, um, with a, just got an El Cheapo, uh, where are we? Just got an El Cheapo. Um, eBay with a HVLP um, generic gun with a with a 1.4 tip, which is yeah, yeah. I could could have gone a little bit bigger. I, I do have spare tips uh, for it and fluid fluid needle, you know whatever you call them, fluid needles. Um, but yeah, just just a light K to primer because the body itself is actually really good nick. Um, it's in really great shape, so yeah. Um, and I just bought some, yeah, just some, some just the uh, the 1K primer, and I bought a Davibulus spray gun from uh, Spray Guns 
online, I think they're called, uh, over in Pommy Land, over in England, the UK. So, yeah, that's where we're up to at the moment. Um, next video, next video you see will probably be me um, getting ready to paint in um, in base coat. Um, so you'll see the car will be all be all masked up. I'll have all this plastic basically stuck to the floor, masked up windows, wheels, you name it. Everything's going to be masked up, ready to go. So that'll be my next video, and you'll see me spraying. So, um, and also put a little video up um, regarding the solution, hopefully a good solution uh, for those trims. So, anyway guys, catch ya. Sanding away the side skirts with the animals. Right, this is Bear. Bear, say hello. Now we're gonna, we're gonna, we don't walk the dog, we chase the red dot, don't we Bear? Yeah, we chase red dots. Here we go. So anyway, we've got a red dot. We're going to chase it. Chase it all the way down there. And then we're going to chase all the way back. Come on, Bear! Here he comes. So anyway, we do a few, a few of these. And that's his exercise for the day. Come on. You can see it. Come on! <laughs> so just putting his trim tape in. So you slide it along there and push down, pull down a bit. Just enough to expose that um, inner or that part of the soil or part of the body where the soil covers. So pretty darn handy this stuff. Get up underneath the soil. And um, that way I can give it a bit of a clean underneath. And put some wax and grease remover under there and uh, make it um, just reduce the chances of the um, the clear coat sort of failing, peeling in that spot. If I get in there and clean it all out, give it a scotch bright, scuff it up a bit, it should be much better. So, I think these soils are actually in pretty good nick, but they're about, I don't know, 40 bucks US. 40 bucks, maybe 80 bucks US, I'm not too sure. Last time I checked, so these ones are actually all right for a car that's actually been in the, in the sun all its life. Alrighty, so I've laid down some um, some red emerald rot, and I've just put some the first coat of clear over. So, looks pretty good there. I've got a little bit patchy over here, but um, I'll give it a, a wetter coat next lot. But uh, so far, see it's a little bit, a bit dry over there. So, um, we'll get it looking good the second coat. That's what it normally looks like when it's dry. It's um, like um, with the base coat, sorry. So it's dry. That's like dry with base. So um, I'll do these. I'll do all these. I'll mix up. Um, more red when I paint the car and I'll do those handles and those bits that go under the headlights and the little shark fin. But um, for now, yeah. So I'll just give it one coat of clear. And I might just give it three all together because it's only uh, an MS clear rather than a, like a high solid. So, so far so good. Right, it's starting to get dark now. It's about 20 degrees Celsius. Um, so, pretty much don't want to do any more. That's the second coat. A tiny little bit dry, just about there. Um, but yeah, second coat, I'll float it on a bit heavier. And I always smoke. Oh, it's so easy. I'm addicted. Like my brother just said, just sent a photo to him. He said, oh, you're addicted now. Well, that is unreal. So, and that's just in a, just in a shed. 
Yeah, sure, it's got a little bit of dust in it, but I mean, I don't know what that is. It might be a little creature or something, but underneath, and there's a little one there. Um, but I can't believe how shiny. I'm so glad I did this. So, yeah. It'll look heaps better. I've got no runs either, none that I can see. No, um, I didn't put any reducer in it, just two to one um, the clear with the hardener. Uh, there's the front bumper. That just looks so Mickey Mouse. So, and hardly any dust, like bugger all dust to be honest. Like, I'd be happy, that's so much better than what the car was like when I first bought it. And look, have a go at the mirrors. Just unroyal. Yeah, so anyway, after all of that, pretty happy with it. It um, It's come out really, really nice. So, um, the plan now, I've got a few days off, but I'm going to be doing the rest of the car. Um, just got to wait for the weather to... to be a little bit more favourable. I've got to do these things that go over the roof. They've got to get done. Um, also bought some, actually that's another thing I should show you guys. Um, I bought some China HIDs with some CAN bus. Um, CAN bus things so I don't get these silly um, errors on the dash like I used to. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try them. They're special E46 sockets for the headlights. So, yeah, plug and play, hopefully. Um, there's a spot on the headlights where the ballast actually um, bolts on. So I'm going to try and put it where the factory ballast goes. So that's where the factory ballast goes here. So put it all in there and um, I'm going to get onto that AliExpress. Dot com and I'm going to get some new um, covers and then I'll, I'll get some um, vinyl, clear vinyl wrap to um, protect them from the UV. But they're, they're the bulbs I've got in them at the moment, LEDs and they're poo. Only because of the projector lens, I think the projector is actually dirty. So I've got to, and all this is all crap too, so, but anyway, I'll um. I'll get onto, onto that probably maybe next video. So, yeah, really, really chuffed. Really happy. So, yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching. I'll um, try and upload as much as I can. Um, time permitting, yeah, I'm flat out at work too. So, thanks, guys.